everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Agent Force and specifically Prompts Builder. So we will go through each of these uh, prompt template type and we will kickstart with field generation. So field generation will allow you to summarize the information of a contact or any record into Salesforce uh, uh, based on the information that you want to gather. So for example, uh, here we will uh, select uh, the contact called Sofia Rodriguez and we will see how we can um, summarize the information about the booking that she did directly into a field here. Um, so I've created a new field, but um, the first thing that we will do is to go directly into Einstein setup. So as you can see, we turn it on uh, Einstein and we will go into Prompt Builder. Within Prompt Builder, we will directly create um, a new prompt and we will do field generation. The name will be contact summarize booking information. Uh, okay. Booking summarize booking information. Okay. And uh, here I will add a description. We will summarize um, bookings directly into a field located on the contact record page. Okay. So our field, like our, our object that we will be working with is contact. And where is the target field? Where do we want to um, gather the data? To summarize the data, it will be into booking summary, a field uh, that I just created uh, before this video. So I will just show you. It's a text field. Um, so if I click on object manager and I click contact, within contact, I will be able to find out the information, booking summary, as you can see here. And then we will click next. And here we can write our uh, prompt. So we will first write it in text and then we will replace the different variable. Uh, so here I will simply uh, do um, summarize the uh, booking information related to the contact into a specific field. Uh, I don't even need to do that. And here I can give an order. So this make, will make sure the prompt is uh, is giving the what I want. Uh, make sure to only reply with the answer. The answer must be under 250 characters. Okay. So that's just two indication that will help us. Um, so now, for example, I need to replace that. So I will remove contact and I will add a resource. So it will be contact ID that we can find on the object. So I'm searching for it, Con ah. contact ID. And here, booking information will be uh, contact related. Uh, I'm searching bookings. Okay. And now, I will use, uh, so I can save it. And now I will use Sofia Rodriguez, my contact, and I will be able to preview the result. Okay. Okay. So as we can see here, As we can see, we don't have the answer that we exactly want uh, because here we are calling a related list. Um, and what we will need to do is to create um, a flow, for example, that will allow us uh, to, to, uh, to access that. Here on, on, your on your right, we have the answer. And on the left, we have the resolution. So we can see that we need to do a bit of work uh, to, to get better results. 
because it's not what we want here. Uh, session C, okay, name. Okay, so it seems like he's getting like the, uh, the, uh, the session, like the, the related list. So we will need to change the prompt because um, us, what we want to know is what kind of activity um, our contact is doing. So describe, so I will remove that. Describe the type of booking that sorry contact ID on uh, as already booked based on and here we will call the related list contact booking okay so I save it and now I will preview again okay Based on the information provided, the booking with the ID. Okay. Okay, so that's not perfect, but that's better. Okay. Um, describe the, describe what contact ID enjoy doing based on the type of booking listed here. Okay, so let's try again. Save, preview. Based on the booking list, it appears that Enjoy a variety of experience such as family adventure, quest, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This activity range from adventurous outdoor challenge to relaxing um, uh, evening under the star, showcasing a div diverse range of interests. That's even better. So I think now um, we, we can say that uh, like it's a success in terms of like summarization. Um, so I will just activate it, okay? So now I activate my prompt and I will go back uh, on Sofia Rodriguez and um, I will edit the page. So when I edit the page, I will go into a specific field, the field that we have created, uh, booking summary. And here I will say, I will come to call my prompt template, contact summary, summarize booking information, edit template, set visibility. No, everything seems to be great. Like good, save, okay. And activation, I think it's already, it must be already activated, but tac, tac, tac. Okay, perfect. So now if I go back, on the profile of Sofia booking summary. I can click here and here I can click directly on this button. And here, like Einstein Copilot will um, use the prompt template that I've created to uh, tell me what are the booking that Sophia like based on uh, the previous, the last booking. If I'm happy with the result, I can just click on use and close the window. I, ah, sorry, close the window and just click save. Okay, so here, as you can see, the max length is 255. So I will go in my template. I will give it an order. Three 
little bracket max result must be under okay and just by giving that okay i save as a new version and i click preview here the message must be shorter it is a bit uh, and i go back on that so my prompt is activated i think Ah oh, no it was not activated okay uh, i need to go back on that i analyze the request use save it's too long still okay i will just do it correctly the result must be only one sentence okay okay so i save as a new version i click preview and under 255 character okay i save i preview Okay, it seems to be shorter. I activate. I re-click on the AI button. That seems to be shorter. And I click save. Okay, and now as you can see, I have a booking summary that is directly based on uh, my overall booking that are located here. So basically my service agent or my marketing uh, user can access the information way faster and generated with AI. Uh, I just hope in the future, like this will be auto-populated. Like the user will not have to click here to populate the information and to save the field. I think this is like three steps that could be uh, streamlined, uh, but I'm sure we will see that in the future. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please let me know and see you in the next one. Thank you.